It's crazy. Okay. We're going back. We have 400 bucks. And what do you think? Got Estimate. about, I'd say roughly on the low side, $2,500. The more you learn, the more you know, the more you make. Subscribe. Thank you very much. He's gonna lock in. He's gonna lock in. There you go. Thank you so much. Uh, you too. Okay. Yeah, so just I'll so go to like the states that we find. We don't put people's faces. That's fine. Awesome. Thank you. Just yeah, no worries. And then you do the. the I put on YouTube. The thing, the voiceover yeah, thing. it's like what we find and what was there. And... I watched this. Oh, awesome. I wish I found some Betamax like movies. That looks like these are all home movies. And it doesn't say what they are. YouTube. Yeah. You got all the Betamax. I had this. Again, we found it. Black hmm. <laughs> 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 Sometimes it's not the Sterling, the Maker. I always look. That's a nice piece. I always look. look you never know. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Click, click. Is it big? Heavy, heavy cool. yeah. It's an ashtray? It's a cool one. I wish this one wasn't missing the, the little. Yeah. I'm gonna hold this for now. 45 for the set. Is it 25 for the set? 25 each, 25 each. I'll hold this one for you. I got a phone call. I just don't know what phone it is. I look for the red. Phone, it's like the Batman phone. It's like that sells for a lot. If I can find a comp, I'll put it here. But the red Batman phone, I think, sells for a good amount. Not it's just that hard to one. find. <laughs> I don't think it's that one. No. <laughs> All these things are worth money. Like, I tell you guys, you can't know everything. I don't know any of this stuff. Like, I've sold this before. I just, I don't even know what I would spend on it. And I know they're worth money. It's just, you can't know everything. Set's gone. E. Damn. Is your estate set too? Yeah, of course you are. Just guessing, there's supposed to be pens in here, I'm guessing? It says $40 and there's nothing in it. So somebody probably pinched them. That's, yes. probably, that's probably what happened. I wanted to bring it down for you guys. Yeah, no, no, no. I, that I, sucks. No, we, listen, we've got, we got all kinds of people that do all kinds of weird things. Now, that sucks. I don't know. Maybe. Peace. Hello. 
It is cooking. Okay. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. Oh, okay. Those are all sold. All this right here? Yep, everything right here in this corner. Oh, all right. And you, not this, but this right here? Yep. Yeah, perfect. Good grab, good grab. Yeah. Would they charge you for that this one? This is wild. Uh, this is, this. That's insane. One was out there. Yeah. Uh, I paid like 200. Nice dude. nice, dude. It's a great sound. I'm worried about, my, worried about my health at this point. I know, I have asthma too. I was like, I gotta get out from there the basement. Like, yeah. Hundreds of times. But, dude, digging, that's what we do, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Great deal. Dude, I love it. Keep going. Five more. Five yeah, more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, got, I got all this crap too. Yeah, I won't touch none of that. Dang. Dang. Hundreds of thousands of dollars downstairs. Dude, I know. I think we're just gonna have to get some masks on. You, I heard you had masks. Shaking? Masks. All right, so we got masks on because it's a little dangerous with the mold, so. Five, eight, five, 14 carat. Gold. It's crazy, like. But you need to dig, there's stuff everywhere. Oh, Polaroid camera, 660, with everything. But what I saw in here, this land camera. Looks like it's in really nice shape. These are good. Oh, we're taking that. Whew. There video games here because if there are video games here, I'm gonna flip out. <laughs> that could, I don't know. Put that aside. Throwing the burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Want to look into the camera and say subscribe to Retro Toy Envy? Subscribe to Retro Toy Envy. <laughs> I appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, guys. I'm going to peek around a little bit more and then we'll head out. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks. Enjoy. Take care now. He got another one? No, no. That's, that's, that's the one I think we pulled out. Well, maybe. Maybe. No, I think he got another one. That's crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. I was looking at glasses. Or like Tony Stark. Billionaire Playboy Philanthropist. Billionaire Playboy Philanthropist. Yeah, sealed. It's probably worth not much. It's sealed. Another pair of glasses and Indiana Jones. Perfect. Stop, man. You should know. I'll pay you something for it. Yes. Yeah, but not. Nah. Is this your house? No. no. Oh, oh. I was looking for like movies that I could play. I never saw any. But he looks like he recorded a lot, so he probably has. He has broadcasting studio. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. Yeah, I, I miss that. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm wondering like if he were, if he probably recorded like TV on there too. But yeah, he had some affiliation with WHBH and some of the other. Yeah, that's really, 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 really cool stuff. Plus, I think he had a connection with the police and fire department. I saw that in the, in the, in the closet down there. 
I, the reason I like coming to these yeah. is obviously finding treasure, but just seeing like yeah. the stories behind the house. You hear That's stories. That's why I do what I do. Exactly. Awesome job in there, dude. You want to be on film? You want to be on camera? Bro. We just met him inside. Awesome dude. Good morale. Go ahead. Couple, couple vintage electronics, reel to reel. We had to dig around a little bit. What'd you little, spend? Spent 400 bucks. And what do you think? Got Estimate. about, I'd say roughly on the low side, $2,500. And this is why you have to know everything. Like, he might not know as much as toys. I might not know as much as the electronics, but there's stuff to be made out yep. there. So you have to know, broaden your horizons on what you're looking for. What's your name? Yep, Mason. Mason. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Matt. Look for, look, for, look for electronics. A lot of stuff sells untested for parts. It's kind awesome. of where I'm making my niche right now. I'm so happy you guys you never have to. You don't have to worry about returns, as is. You find a collector for some of this old stuff, and you're in there. A lot of this vintage stuff, you don't have to worry about it. It sells so, super fast because, like, people overseas look for it for their setups. And yep, stuff. yeah, or, like, retired engineers. I just... I picked up a cassette deck the other day, broken. I paid nine fifty for it. I sold it the same day for two thousand to a collector. Who that's like, awesome. He literally told me he's like, I'm gonna, I fixed these up. Like, hey, send me a picture of this. I'm like, hey, just so you know, man, I don't know this stuff. This is as is. Like, I'll tell you the best I can do. And he's like, yeah, no problem. And you're getting into somebody's hands that's gonna appreciate it. Bring it back to like its original life and like really appreciate it. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Awesome, dude. You're passing on to somebody else. Hell who yeah. Can, you know, let it live a little bit longer. Hell yeah. yeah. I appreciate meeting you. Yeah, nice Hopefully, we'll meet guys. up again. That was um, good. Yeah, enjoy. How are you going to come back? So get more stuff. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good one, dude. <laughs> this is exactly why I like meeting these people. Not they're, not they're not all like that, but like being positive, he's he shared his experience with us. Um, he gets it. And I hope you guys get it too. There's some really cool people to meet in what we are doing if you're flipping or just starting to flip and resell. Put a positive mindset on what you're doing, positive attitude, and you'll meet some really cool people. So we'll talk in the car in a second about what I got. So we're both gonna go to the bathroom because I need a shit. <laughs> I have oh. enough. <laughs> what did I spend? What uh, did I spend in there? 40 for everything? 40 plus the dollar he gave me. That guy was really, yeah, really so nice. Yeah, so 41. He was gonna so, give that to you for free? Yeah, I just, I hate taking stuff for free. I don't know if you saw my last video. The last video I did, someone gave me Velcro for free. I'll take that. But like, when I'm gonna make money off of this stuff, I just hate taking it for free. So the guy said a dollar, he was really cool. He knows he's making money, so I give him a buck. Um, I'm gonna do really good. It's not anything crazy. Now that kid that we just talked to, he's gonna do phenomenal. Yeah. Just that camera alone, just the lenses on that camera, he's gonna make so much money and that makes me happy. To add on top of it, the kid was a cool kid. He shared his experience, he was smiling, like good personality, like that makes me happy that he did good. He had a good day, his day was worth it, my day was worth it, you can't get better than that. The Schaefer pen, uh, it's a 14 karat gold nib. The nib is the tiny little metal piece on the top. Sometimes it's nothing, it's just a base metal. But that one was uh, 14 karat gold, 585 is the numbers you look for for that. The pen should give me double digits. Oh, the camera. I know those cameras sell for, what was that? That was me. Oh. <laughs> I know those cameras sell for an okay amount. I've sold them before. I wanna say, 40 to 80, that's me underselling it. Um, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, uh, over 100, but I'm gonna say conservative, like 40 to 80. Um, you'll see it right here. And what else? What else did I get? You got a little, like, metal chain thing. Oh, the metal chain, so that was not gold. So, okay, <laughs> the two glasses that I got, uh, both had glasses in them, I did tell them. Uh, both glasses, case that had glasses in them, they're both gold filled. People love those big lens glasses now. They're taking the old lenses out and putting new lenses in for sunglasses or their prescription. Um, both of those glasses are gold filled. I should get her any, anywhere over $20 for those. Maybe more if they're designer, depending on the brand. It's a good day, I spent 40. If I knew more like that kid, I would have probably found so many more things. The electronics, the radio equipment. I know I left money back there. He probably left money back there because he probably knows just to a certain extent. Me with toys, I know to a certain extent. There's probably times I've left toys. So always researching. You are never too good to keep learning. Always keep learning because I say it every time. The more you learn, the more you know, the more you make. Do we gotta go back? Huh? We gotta go back. We gotta go back. All right, we're going back because I left a 300 plus camera there. It was the one that I was fiddling with that I couldn't get it shut. And I, my gut told me I should have bought it and I didn't. We need to go back and get it. We're back at the house. We're gonna do a speed run. We're gonna see how fast I can do it. And we're gonna time me. Right. Ready, go. <laughs> yeah, step, 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 step. It's, fine. it's in here. 
Here's one of them, but that's not the camera that we're here for. You didn't move over there, right? What? You didn't move over there? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna look in a second, but... Somebody that knows cameras from the store, right? Just grabbed it. I'm trying to look at it left. Where other boxes are? I'm gonna put a box. Did it fall into Yeah, like just maybe fell down and somebody else moved it. Yeah, I'm telling you, this, I put it back. And this is why you should always trust your gut. <laughs> So much for the speed run. There was a couple cameras I left that I didn't really know if I wanted to know about. Yep. Yeah. Listen, right. you, you know the rules. You gotta trust your gut. As you, uh, you gotta trust. Part of the video, you gotta trust your gut. One night got away.